In this video, I'm going to show you a really, really cool effect for your Go High Level website that you can use today. And as you can see, it's a very smooth, horizontal scrolling between different sections. Basically, each of this panel is a column that takes up the entire screen and you can scroll through them horizontally and when you go on the first column basically you start scrolling up and when you finish scrolling all the columns then you start again to scroll down really really cool effect using the gsep library as i told you in the past a really powerful library that you can use to truly enhance your go high level websites and this is my first attempt to implement a uh, freeze section with horizontal scrolling basically as you can see when the the top of this section reaches the top of your screen then the whole section freezes in place like a pin and then you start scrolling horizontally and when you scroll uh, to the end then the section unfreezes and you keep scrolling down very very cool effect in my opinion and this is just one that i came up with you can do so much more things with this pin section like display different animations inside this frozen section and things like that and i'll come up with a lot more things in the future using the same framework for um, as as this effect so let's hop into the go high level website builder and start designing this amazing looking effect this uh, section here is from a previous video you'll find it on the channel but today we are going to focus on this section right here which as you can see is a column first thing we have to do is go here and this is all the code that you need in terms of css so you have to pause the video and copy this code but for now let's invalidate the classes let's invalidate this one and also this one pause the video and copy the code invalidate the classes and click save of course if you don't want to pause the video and you have my notion doc the tutorial is this one section scroll freeze plus horizontal scrolling and i will add tons more effects like section scroll freeze plus animation section scroll freeze plus something else and so on and so forth and if you are curious how to get my notion doc there is a link in the description from where you can grab it now that you have the css and you've invalidated the classes all you need to do is to create a, a section now let's actually try to uh, get this a little smaller so i can show show it to you properly and then you know you can modify it however however you want but uh, yeah okay just like this so you have a four column row or how many panels you want to have and each panel of course has its own background plus text plus you can add buttons and all elements basically that you can add in a normal column so this unfortunately you can't have like multiple columns within a panel the way this effect is built but maybe in the future i will come up with a different version for this effect so you can add multiple columns within one panel of course it can be done but i wanted this effect to be you know not so complex so it's also easy to understand right all um, columns have the same class panel section then the row obviously i deleted the, the margins uh, but all the rows have if i can select it if i go here i think is this one uh, not this one this one yeah, is this one yeah one column row obviously it has four columns but if you select it as you can see it has zero padding top zero padding uh, zero margin top right and it has a class horizontal section and the section itself has pin section and again 
it has zero padding this one don't mind it doesn't really matter because we override the values anyway but it's important that you change the padding and the margin to zero so you don't have strange lines above your columns if you go here where we have the css you need to change the width here 400 percent means four times 100 percent each panel will be 100 percent so the total width of your horizontal section will be 400 percent if you have five panels so five columns you would need to change this to 500 percent but for this we're gonna keep it at 400 percent very very important and all the other values you don't need to mess with them only this one is important i think in the notion doc i will change the code a bit and add a variable to this so it's easier for you to personalize the effect however you want great and that's pretty much it in terms of uh, sections you can now just remove this letter here so you can validate the classes once again and this is how it looks of course before you do that make sure you change the text to the proper size otherwise it's a bit complicated but yeah all you need to do the next step is to create a custom javascript code and add this code you first need to add the imports for gsap scramble text you don't need i just added it so i can um, test a few things scroll trigger you need and split text again you don't need scroll smoother you don't need for this effect but i'll keep it here because i also have um, the smooth scroller effect on uh, this page and that's why it has that buttery smooth effect when you scroll but the, this effect works without it but yeah if you want to to have an enhanced version of this horizontal scrolling effect you can also add this plus the smooth scroller effect from the notion doc and then all you need to do is copy this code starting from here you get the panels the horizontal section the pin section and here you, you create a timeline it's called within gsap and this is basically it this is all the effect that you need in terms of javascript again you can find both the css plus the javascript in here and if you are curious about the smooth scroller this is it's the first one smooth scrolling effect with gsap very very cool effect that instantly transforms any go high level website into a premium one and again you can sell it for much more money when you have such an effect installed right if you don't have my notion doc you can pause the video and copy what you see on screen if you want to get my notion doc there is a link in the description perfect click save and that's your effect again this is how it looks smooth scrolling all the way until here then you start to scroll horizontally very very nice very satisfying and then when you finish the section you scroll like you know like you normally do one thing to mention here is that this effect doesn't really work on mobile i mean it can be done so that it works but it doesn't really make sense because on mobile you scroll your fingers up and down but you don't want the image to scroll to the side right if you want the image to if you want the website to scroll side to side you scroll horizontally so it doesn't really make sense to have such an effect on mobile devices but for desktop this is such a cool effect and i'm telling you you can sell this for a lot of money if you have a website with uh, with effects like this and if you're curious to see how I create premium and expensive looking website using Go High Level, then watch this video.